Welcome to Learn Photoshop. My name is Valerie Bliss. Today we are creating a simple birthday flyer. The first thing we do is to state our dimension. So I'll go to print here. Okay. Then I'm going to choose the dimension. The letter, I'll change from inches to pixels. Then I'll maintain the resolution at 300. I'll keep the background as white. Then I'll click on create. So from here, what I'm going to do right now is I'll create this background, solid color. Then I'll change the color to this gray. Then what I'm going to do right now is I'll go to this side. I'll go to this side. Then I'll go to Polygonal tool. Then I'll make sure this is set to 6. If yours is not set to 6, change it to 6. Then I'm going to draw this. I'll change the color for this black. Then what I'll do right now is I'll press Ctrl T, transform this, rotate this one 90 clockwise like this. From here, increase the size, hold the shift, drag this one down, pick up the shift, okay? Then increase the size more like this. This in this one right here. What you're going to do right now is make a copy of that. So I'll make a copy of this. But before then, so now that we have this shape, come to this FX here, then go to blending option. Click on drop shadow to add a shadow to it. Position the shadow well. So I'll bring it right here. I'll increase the opacity to 60. I'll click on OK. Now from here, I'll make a copy of that one. Then I'll drag it down like this. This time around, I'll reduce the size. Something like this. From here, I'll make another copy again. Then I'll drag that one here. This time around, I'll increase the size. Like this. It looks very bad, right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'll add stroke to this. Then what I'll do right now again is to make a couple of this. Then I'll bring it here. Right click on this one. Take away the drop shadow. Then press U. Take away the fill. Because you have something like this, okay? Now what you're going to do next is paint this one, the stroke for this to the background color, which is the gray. Then come here, come to this one, change the stroke to the gray. Come to the first shape. Let us increase the size more. Now select the uppermost layer, make a copy of that, then bring that one here, okay? So now we can add our text and other information. So I will right click on this one, then I will type happy birthday, happy. I will increase the size for the happy. I will make a copy of that. Then I will type birthday. I will bring it right here. The next thing to do is to add the name of the person, okay? I will make a copy of the birthday. Then I am going to type the name of the person here. So the name will be Jennifer. Then let us reduce the size. So right now we are going to add the birthday message so i'll come here okay then i'll add the message right here so this is the birthday message i'll change the font to something different then i'll increase the white space or the leading okay so when you go to properties of this desk you see the leading right here this is the leading i'll increase it i don't need 72 so i'll change the leading to 80 okay then i'll confirm that i'll bring this one right down here so now i'll come here again then this time around i'll draw this elliptical shape right here then i'll write last one change everything to white i'll bring it on this one so now I love it, our pictures. So I just have to import my pictures. I'll click on this shape, this shape, okay? Then I'll come here for the picture. So I'll decrease the size for this picture. Then I'll position it right. Then from here, what I'm going to do right now is I'll right click on this and choose clipping mask. That we have something like this, okay? Then I'll bring another picture here. I'll clip this picture right here. So that we have something like this. Okay. Now let us go for the next picture. So now I'll import this. Picture. After importing it, right click on it and choose create a clipping mask. Okay. So now we can add our shadows down here, a flat shadows. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just go up here. Then I'll create a new layer. I will come here. I'll go for the brush. Sorry, brush. Then I'll set the foreground color to black. Then I'll Change this one to this size. I'll increase the size. 
then I will create this flat shadow right here. Okay, then I'm going to transform that. I'll reduce the opacity down, then I'll make a copy of that. I'll position it right here. I will decrease the size. Okay, so this is another simple birthday flyer you can create as a professional beginner. If you enjoyed this tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos. My name is Fadis Blaze. Thank you for staying with me.